subscribe to James the Sheriff Dixon, you motherfuckers. What's going on, guys? James here to bring you another video. And for this one, I'll be doing my weekly review for Fear of the Walking Dead. So let's jump right into this one. So this one, we got to see Morgan, Dwight, Sherry, Althea, and pretty much the whole cast, except for, like, uh, well, not the whole cast, but, like, like half of the cast. So um, let's talk about this real quick. So, uh... This one was about Dwight and Sherry's continuation from the last time we saw them, the one before the last episode, which was which was about uh, John and June and um, John and Jenny. So that whole story arc. This one was about Dwight coming to terms with what Sherry's been doing while uh, he was away from her. So uh, this, that was pretty much this episode, and uh, they did mention Negan during this episode, and um, apparently Jenny did something similar to what how Negan ran, um, the fucking facilities, so, uh, that's why I keep saying that Jenny is the female Negan, because this episode confirmed it, and I just want to say this was another great episode, I kind of liked the episode before this more than this one, like, what, it seems like whenever Sherry's involved in the episode, it seems like it's, like, a more hopeful episode, because Dwight's trying to redeem himself, so, like, I kind of like the one before this a little better than this one, but, Still solid writing for this season of Fear. And again, we did get to see Morgan. Morgan just randomly showed up, like, searching the truck. I think he was trying to find Ginny. That's why, that, that's where he, that's when he was with the dog the last time we saw him. And, um, we did get to see the people from the Bubonic Plague at the end of this episode. Um, and I still can't believe they found a way to drag the, uh, Bubonic Plague into, uh, this episode. So, uh, not into this episode. Uh, I can't believe, like, they dragged the bubonic, bubonic plague into the series or into the Walking Dead in general, but um, yeah, again, overall solid episode. I want to say like three, maybe four out of five stars. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my review. It was pretty much a Dwight and Cherry episode continuation. Cherry left Dwight, which is surprising because she was off screen for so she left in season seven of the Walking Dead, and again, we did not see her until now. So seven, eight, nine, a good three or four years without seeing her, and she left again. So um, apparently there's only a couple of episodes left. I don't want to say for this season. I want to say for this half. I'm going to have to look it up because I did not look it up before making this video, so I will have that information for the next review. So, uh, Apparently, there's only a couple episodes left. I don't know again for this season, or like, or it's just for this half of the season. So, uh, I will look it up before the next review. But uh, again, solid episode again. Um, oh, and uh, before I go, before I end this video, I we did get to figure out if um the people that Ginny outcast were did form a group. They do form a group. That that was interesting to see. And uh, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for the review of this episode um yeah again uh three i, I might i, I I'm, I'm sticking with three out of five stars and yeah i guess that's it for this review for this episode so i'm gonna bring the video to an end this is james saying if you like who team please like and subscribe for more this is james saying peace i'll let brendan rogers take from here i'll see y'all in the next one everybody right um i just want to shout out an amazing channel, uh, James the Sheriff Dixon. Oh, he's such a great guy, and he is super cool for coming to the show. I'm glad I got to meet him in person, and you should subscribe.